This girl is a professional killer, now. She is hugging a woman and crying very loudly. The commando side here has a person reminding that woman, she's pretending, get out of the way. But this woman did not have time to react. The girl silently pulled out the weapon in her hand, killing this woman. The girl's name is Hannah. Her father was a former CIA agent. That year he was disgusted with the carnage. Then, along with Hannah's mother, quietly fled the organization. On the way, they were chased and killed by commandos. Hannah's mother unfortunately passed away. And he took Hannah with him, to flee to a remote snow and ice place, hiding for 16 years, wanting to avenge her mother, Hannah from a young age, learned harsh training from her father, every day when it was just dawn, she had to stand in front of the tree and practice there for 100 times, at 6 o'clock, under the guidance of her father, she had to practice push-ups, 80 reps each time, at 7 o'clock she had to put on a very heavy backpack and then jogged, ran around the top of the mountain 8 times, while running, her father put more stones inside her backpack, and so on until the backpack weighs 30 pounds up to now. Her ability has been able to easily knock down her 75 kilograms father. Seeing the right opportunity, her father took out a photo and said to Hannah, this is the woman who killed her mother. Hannah took the photo. She gritted her teeth. She has been waiting for this day for 16 years. It was early in the morning when Hannah woke up. Three specialized helicopters suddenly appeared in the sky. Her father realized it was the CIA's army. Unexpectedly, that woman acted a step faster. He quickly and Hannah packed their things and left. Halfway there, they discovered that a soldier had lost his way and heard that the woman was giving him orders. But he didn't know that. Hannah behind him suddenly jumped acting decisively, gently solving him, but more and more soldiers, they decided to split up to act, they set up an appointment to meet again, Hannah stood in front of her father, repeating again, even though she really didn't want to leave, her father still left without looking back, because he knew that, this day would eventually come, but as soon as she turned around, Hannah picked up the other soldier's radio that had fallen on the ground, then speak loudly to the woman who killed her mother, come catch me, Hannah was very brave, sitting alone on the ground, waiting for their men to come and take them away. If you don't enter the tiger's den, how can you catch a tiger? Hannah voluntarily offered herself in front of the enemy, after which she would take action. In a special prison, a girl, under the watchful eye of a guard, calmly, peels off a chocolate, then slowly eats it all, then step forward and speak. I want to talk to your boss. Not long after, a woman in a suit walked in, claiming to be the boss she wanted to meet. Hannah glanced at her. How could a very ordinary woman like her become the leader of these killers? Hannah was a little disappointed. Then she suddenly hugged her and cried. But a second later, the next Hannah stepped forward, quickly knocking down the prison guard, then two, then three, then she put on the prison guard's clothes, leave confidently. But when she opened the door, she froze for a moment. This prison was unexpectedly built in an uninhabited desert. Hannah ran for a long, long time. Finally she met a passerby. She got in the car and asked for a ride. Go to the train station. But unexpectedly, the commando was there for a long time waiting for her. She quickly defeated one commando, then captured another, and then jumped downstairs with him. She ran like flying, then jumped on a moving train. Finally escaped the special forces. Soon after, Hannah went to the meeting place, as scheduled with her father. Their father and daughter are finally reunited. Then his father took Hannah to a ruined room. Now they have become the most wanted criminals around the world. Their next path will be more and more difficult. That night Hannah asked her father about her true identity. Why did the special forces keep chasing them like that? Her father hesitated a bit. This increased Hannah's suspicion even more. The next evening, she received a DNA report in person from the prison which had something unusual written on it. And her father's neck had the word unknown. This time the father could only tell the truth. Actually, he wasn't her biological father. That year, the military conducted a secret experiment on genetic modification. The main target is pregnant women. Hannah's mother is one of them. She signed a contract with the military that would let Hannah be the subject of an experiment. But she soon regretted it. She begged the commando to help save Hannah from there. And that special agent is her current father. Her father is a kind man, knowing the truth of this experiment, which was to turn children into murder weapons. He agreed, after taking Hannah's mother to escape. On the way to escape three people were hunted. Finally her mother unfortunately passed away. This is the true identity of Hannah. Over the years of reformation, Hannah has brought in an extraordinary ability tricks when fighting.
defeating opponents in just a few minutes when jogging no matter how long she runs. Her breathing and running power are still very stable. Their hearing ability is many times higher than that of a normal person. Very faint sounds can be heard a few hundred meters away. If that year Hannah was not silently saved, now she has soon become a murder weapon for the organization. And this inhuman experiment is still going on. Hannah heard this and immediately made the most unforgettable decision in her life. We have to get those people out. Hannah jumped down from a tree branch, gently knocking out two commandos. The base quickly sent an army to capture the father and daughter. Hannah also didn't say much, picked up the gun and fired continuously. The bullets had already been fired. Hannah started using her bare hands. After a fierce battle, the father and daughter finally solved this commando team. They went to the laboratory, threatened the doctor to unlock the cell so that all the other children could be released. Hannah told them, you are free, you can leave now. But no one moved after her words, locked up by the base for decades. They were soon tamed, without an order. They didn't dare to leave at all. But now, a large army had chased after. They surrounded the base. At this point, Hannah begged them to go with her. But only this black girl agreed to follow her. The others just followed in a long line, then returned to their cell. They saw that the advice didn't work, so they could only leave the base immediately. The army managed to get there. It was a very fierce duel. After dealing with the last commando, her father couldn't even stand up anymore. Only a little breathless, Hannah and the other black girl helped her father into the car, quickly went to the hospital. But along the way, her father gradually lost consciousness. With his last breath, he said, bury him next to her mother's grave. Then he closed his eyes and left her forever. Hannah hugged her father's body and cried for a long time. She then did as her father told her to bury him next to her mother's grave. He can finally rest in peace. The end of the movie. Hannah and the black girl together went to a place far away. No one knows where they will end up. This movie is called, Hannah, if you like this movie, you can check it out. Okay, today's movie ends here. Remember to like and follow. See you again.